The Cy Woods starters were ready for this one. Early on, it's a three-pointer from Erica Ogumake. Erica's older sisters had won a pair of state championships for Cy Fair in 2008 and 2010, and she obviously wanted to add a third to the family trophy case, getting points off the boards and in transition. Number 13 had 13 points in the first quarter alone. Cy Woods' defense was stifling. Kate Reese here with a steal and the jumper to extend the lead while holding Skyline to only one first quarter field goal. Six foot nine inch post Nancy Mulkey was in foul trouble. This was her only block of the game. So Erica Ogumake took over. The layup here was part of an 11-0 run in the third quarter to give Cy Woods the lead back. Tatiana Perez with the steal, tosses it down to Ogumake for the layup and Skyline had to call timeout as Cy Woods was up 43-33 after the run. Here's Skyline's Ladera Capal with the three to cut the deficit down to five late in the quarter. This Tatiana Perez jumper gave Cy Woods a 47-38 lead after three quarters. Cy Woods outscored Skyline 23-10 in that quarter. Mulkey only had one field goal in the game and fouled out midway through the fourth with only four points. Jasmine Williams gave the Wildcats a defensive presence in Mulkey's absence. She blocks the three-point attempt, but the Raiders hung tough. Ladera Capal here with the floater, which cut the Cy Woods lead to seven. Crystal Lyons knocks down the three-pointer to cut the lead down to 48-44 with five minutes left, which was the closest Skyline would get. Agumake with the layup here, which opened up the lead to seven with under three minutes left. Then a steal by Agumake would seal the game and her winning the championship game MVP. She finished with 26 points as time runs out. Cy Woods gets the win 57-49 and the celebration is on. Um, I'm just so proud of these girls. They have worked hard all season. They'll tell you they put in the work, they put in the sweat, they put in the effort, and of course the maturity. Um, it's just, I can't, I, I don't think there are words to describe what this season has meant to us. Coach just knew that we weren't playing our game and she, I think she was kind of saying things that we already knew, so. Uh, Go Cy Woods, number one. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I think she just gave us a little reality check and we knew we needed to kick it in gear second half. She just said we need to crash the boards, that it's okay we didn't have Nancy in, we just got to box out and we have it. it was just, whoever controls the boards is the winner of this game and we had it. She said this is our last game and there's no way we should lose this. We, we're the best team and we're the best team, period.